If you're coming to my YouTube channels to leave a disparaging, mean, or insulting comment, you are a low-class, ignorant asshole. I haven't done shit to you. And we're going to talk about what creates this phenomenon of people who feel is somewhat part of mob mentality. But this is me calling out stupid America. The people who are leaving these comments have never accomplished anything. They haven't done anything. And they can't do anything because of the TikTok syndrome. Many of you younger people and millennials want to have a robust TikTok channel so you can get attention. But Let's look at, like, I don't mess with TikTok. I think TikTok is stupid. A whole bunch of little dancing, a little ditties, a little low information diet. And as long as you consume a low information diet, you will continue to be a stupid asshole. And this is what people are embracing. I fell down the TikTok hole, okay? So let's talk about morality. And let's talk about life. How many of you people who are coming to my YouTube channels to say these things taught your children how to read before they went to school? I would say none of you. See, when it gets to doing the important things, that's where y'all are absent. You can come on the YouTube channel, you can go on Instagram and leave a nasty little comment. That's all you can do but something substantial, something real, something worthy. Mm -mm. You can't mess with that. You can't mess with that because here's the thing. Since you consume a low information diet, and let me tell you what's happening to your brain. And this is one of the reasons I don't mess with TikTok. TikTok operates on game theory and game theory keeps prompting you to watch the next video, right? What this does is it rewires your brain. It makes you dumber. Why does it make you dumber? Because it reduces your ability to pay attention to anything. Have you, like the number of people who consume a lot of TikTok, they don't read books. They don't watch documentaries. They cannot consume long form content. And this is what's funny. Let's go to reading comprehension skills. When I was a kid, there was something called a California achievement test, which I blew out the water. You wanna know why I blew it out the water? Because my grandmother taught me how to read before I went to school. That is part of the reason that I am so successful is that those, those formative years, I was taught how to read, I was taught how to reason, so when I was in the first grade, my reading level was at a 12th grade level in the first grade. Now, most of you idiots, most of you people who consume these low information diets, your reading level, even though you may be an adult, your reading level may be on the eighth grade level or a third grade level. And this is very, very important because we have the global reset that is on and popping. Now, what is a global reset? The global reset is the shifting down of huge parts of the population to lower economic standards. And if you're one of the dummies who are coming on my channel, nine times out of 10, you're gonna get reset. And two years from now, you won't even be thinking about Glendon Cameron, but you will be thinking about how to eat, how to get gas for your car. If you have a car, you'll be thinking about how to stop living in a tent or how to maybe van life. This is where you're heading because you consume a low information diet. You don't consume anything of substance. You don't, you don't really push yourself. And let's talk about that. The HB1 visa. America has to import mathematicians and scientists because most of you idiots are not interested in doing the hard things. I don't want to take a computer science curriculum. I don't want to take a science curriculum. I don't want to take a man. I don't want to do anything hard. Just give me YouTube and TikTok and I'll be good. Not really. I have a friend 
who is in the financial sector. And there are many people he follow. He follows and he talks about. None of these people are on social media. See, this is one of the things that you idiots don't seem to grasp. The best, the brightest, the most capable people may have a very small social media. You know, in the case of Jordan Peterson, he has a very large social media following. But typically, the best of the best of the financial, the science, health, all these in fields, they're not on social media. The vetted, the people who do certain things, the people who have a high level of prestige and a high level of ability, they're not on social media. You know who's on social media? You idiots. You clowns. Like, once again, let me ask you, how many of you taught your children how to read, if you have children? And how many of you, since the whole morality of this, you know, I've had people talk about they want to physically harm me because I got some young pussy. I want you to think about that. This is reared out simp nature. Simps, Captain save -a if you will, want to save women who are not even interested in them. They want to be around women who are not even looking at them. So America, you got a choice. The global reset is on and popping. You can keep dicking around, you can keep messing around, you can keep playing around, and then one day you're gonna be 60 eating beans out of a can. And you're gonna be wishing someone like me, who has money, would do something for someone like you. That's where we're headed. Because I am seeing so, you know, once again, let's get back to reading comprehension skills. The video is here on YouTube. Many people uploaded it. Not once did I say that I was trolling for little girls, but that was the interpretation because your reading comprehension skills are weak or non-existent. I wrote ads that women responded to, which is direct response marketing. You put out a piece of content, you see how the public responds to it. If you get what you want, that's a good piece of content. If you don't get what you want, it's a bad piece of content. And the Craigslist protocols were an offshoot of the Craigslist marketing system, which I used to sell thousands of thousands, hundred, maybe a few million dollars worth of merchandise on Craigslist. So I just tweaked it a little bit, but many of you, and I saw this comment, This chick left this comment talking about I was being deceptive in the ads. Let me go ahead and give you a breakdown. In the Craigslist protocols, I put down my age. They knew that I was an adult male and they still answered the ad. You know, this is what's so funny. My ads were so good, people started to steal them. My ads were posted around the world. I actually found my ad posted on a London Craigslist website. London because my ass were effective people were stealing my ass they were biting my stilo but once again low information stupid America you heard because let's talk about critical thinking skills critical thinking skills very few of you possess critical thinking skills because you will hear a sound bite by the robe wearing bitch and you won't that's all you heard and you just take it and you, you bite down on it and you go with it and you completely ignore any evidence because that road bearing bitch called me a predator based upon the low information diet that he consumed. Because I don't think dude's a millionaire. I don't think he's a millionaire. I think he has a high income and I think that's about it. And that's why he's begging people to join his Patreon. But you heard this road wearing bitch and you, you bought onto it and because you don't have any critical thinking skills. Nothing in that video is going to get me arrested. Nothing. But once again, because you consume a low information diet, like this is one of the things I used to do. I'm in the city of Atlanta and I would go to the Atlanta Fulton County courts and sit and watch court proceedings. 
I would do this several times a week just to see how court works because court doesn't work like what you see on television. It ain't nothing like that. I remember there was some uh, collection agencies trying to sue people and they were trying to put the forth the thing and the judge was like, have they been served? And the collection agency said, no. And he said, he threw it out. He threw it out. So I actually took the time to go down and watch court proceedings. I wasn't getting paid any money. I did it out of pure curiosity and it helped me greatly when I went to court. I beat a child support case because of me going to court and watching how court proceedings went down. I learned so many things by just taking it upon myself to go to court. But many of you low information diet people, stupid America, you're a man, you're a simp, you're a beta male cuck, and you're hating on me while you are being raped up the ass because of child support because you don't know how the court system works. There are many of you out there who could have beaten the child support case if you knew what to do. But because you spend your time on TikTok, YouTube, consuming a low information diet, don't read books, don't educate yourself, don't level up, what happens to you is what happens to you. And I find it very interesting because let's, let me speak to the women. A lot of you have made remarks about how I look. And it's very interesting because I consistently get women who find that I look really good. They find me attractive, but because you low intellect bitches, low class bitches, you have an agenda that you want to push. It's kind of like you're the kind of bitch that will be in a relationship with a guy and he'd be fucking the shit out of you. And he's got a good sized dick. But the minute you break up, he, he got a small dick and he can't fuck. Even though he had you screaming because you pushed your agenda on the situation, completely ignoring the facts, completely ignoring the facts. So you could keep insulting me and you could keep calling me names and you keep revealing what a low class bitch that you are. And here's the thing. This is just YouTube. You're just leaving comments, but it's a symptomatic symbol of the rest of your life. If you're coming on YouTube to insult someone who's done nothing to you, I can attest that your life is fucked up and you want to know why your life is fucked up because you are fucked up and it's not going to get any better because you don't know how to be accountable. You don't know how to take responsibility and you have low impulse control. Many of you have low impulse control and this is how you end up going to jail. This is how you end up getting arrested because you cannot control your impulses. All of us have fleeting thoughts, crazy stuff that will pop in our head. And most of us ignore those crazy thoughts, but not you, you go with it. You're sitting down like, I saw this video. I'm going to go to his YouTube channel and leave 45 comments. Do you have a business? Do you have anything that makes you any money? No, because you spend your time on bullshit. I'm seeing this because I knew the global reset was going to get a lot of people. I knew it was going to you know, capture a lot of people, but this just shown me just how many people are going to get reset. And this is the thing. You don't have to be reset. You don't have to shift down to a lower economic standard of living, but because you're dumb and you continue to consume a low information diet, you don't want to stress yourself. You don't want to struggle. You don't want to challenge yourself. You just want to keep living in the land of bullshit. That's where you want to be. That's what you keep doing. And what's going to happen two years from now, I'll make a prediction. Two years from now, I will be richer than I am today and you will be poor. And I know I've heard now some people 
when I use the nomenclature, look it up. Low class. Some of you are offended that I would call you low class because you want to come and leave a nasty comment on my YouTube channel. You're offended because I have the audacity to say that you're a fucked up human being, that you're a piece of human trash, that you've never done anything, you never will do anything, you have little to no accomplishments, and more than likely, you don't have a lot of friends. How do I know this? People with a lot of friends are nice. The richest people I know are the nicest people I know. The poorest people I know are the assholes of the world. Like the dude who stole my car. He is a representative of you dumbass folks. Renting a car, living in a hotel. Renting a 740i that he could not pay for. And when I had a GPS kill switch, I turned the car off. And they defeated the GPS kill switch because they wanted to keep the car, but they knew they weren't going to have the money to pay for it. When he was getting arrested by Cobb County police, he tried to call me and he said, hey, I'm trying to pay you $2,000 right now. I said, fuck you. And I, the cop called me and I said, arrest his ass. In the ninth minute, he's pulled over. He's a convicted felon. He gets pulled over with a gun. That's five years in, the, in, the, in prison in the state of Georgia. Five years. And he is still trying to finesse me because he consumes a low information diet. He consumes bullshit. This man is a failure as a husband. He's a failure as a father. He's a failure as a person. But for some reason, because he's indicative of you people, he felt that he could talk shit to me because I got some young pussy. Living in a hotel, renting a car, about to go to prison. But he felt he was morally superior because I did something he couldn't do. I, I'm just sitting here looking at this and I'm, I'm beginning to understand why so many people are unsuccessful. Because your money is where your attention is. And if your attention is on bullshit, uh, that pretty much speaks to where your money is. Like all of these feminine, low class, dumb YouTubers, male YouTubers, beta male cucks who are making these videos. I have not had the chance to analyze their channels, but after they make this video and because it's hot right now and they'll get them some views and some traction, their channel is going to go back to normal. What are they going to do next? See, I got 12 years of successful YouTube history. Will these clowns be able to do build a 12 year catalog of data of information? I don't think so. And I'll probably be on YouTube another 10 years. I'll probably, you know, 22 years from now, I will have a channel that will be 22 years old. It's 12, it's 13 years old right now. So the next nine years, I'm going to continue to put up more content. You know why? Because I never stopped learning. Many of you people have not picked up a book since high school of college. Low information diets. And you seek to be comfortable and you seek entertainment versus education, enlightening, en enlightenment and being skilled up. See, your behavior is the reason that you're poor. It's not that there's this mythical man in the sky that's part of the 1% that's keeping you down. No, 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 no. You're keeping yourself down because of the low information diet that you consume with gusto and vigor every day. You consume bullshit every day, every day. And you wonder why your life sucks. Let me say it once again. If you're coming to my YouTube channels to insult me, you are a low class, low intellect bitch whose life is going to suck and it's going to continue to suck because I will say 
that I know classy people and none of you guys are classy. None of you have any ethics. None of you have any morality. You assume because of the moral outrage because I got some young pussy that you could talk all kind of smack to me just like the felon, the convicted felon who stole my car. He thought he could talk shit to me. Motherfucker owes me $4,000. Don't matter. I went ahead and entered into a contract that I could not fulfill. Don't matter. I'm going to still talk shit to you because see, this is another reason that most of you are not successful. You go with your emotional state versus a logical analytical state. You go by your guts. Like there's this dumb bitch who left up, you know, I was deceiving these girls. I put up an ad and I was deceiving these girls. I put my age, I put what I was looking for. How is that deception? See, you want to shape the false narrative to fit the low intellect center of your brain because you're not capable of critical thinking. Everyone who looked at that video with a critical thinking eye came away with a different perspective than you low intellect motherfuckers. Everyone that looked at it from a critical was like, he didn't break the law. I personally wouldn't do what he did, but he didn't break the law. He's not going to jail and he didn't rape anyone. But because of you low intellect, lack of critical speaking, critical thinking skills, lack of reading comprehension skills, you have shaped a false narrative in your head that you will cling to. And nobody's going to change your mind because in your mind, you're convinced that you're right, even though there's evidence to the contrary. Evidence to the contrary. You will stick with that. You will ride with that. Just like this fool who stole my car, who was surprised that I called the police. You got my car, you disabled the G and I even accused him. I said, you disabled the GPS kill switch. Because when I turned the car off and I saw they were still driving it, that was my first thought. And my first thought was in the correct thought. This guy stole my car, kept my car, prevented me from renting it to someone else. And he was pissed that I threw his shit away. He had my car, owes me $4,000. And he's like, if we don't get the stuff back in the car, it's going to be a problem. And I said, that shit been thrown away. Once again, let's go ahead and look at this. He stole my car, owes me money. But because I threw his shit away and I wouldn't cooperate with him, it's going to be a problem. The fact that you had my car, that wasn't a problem. The fact that you weren't paying me, that wasn't a problem. But because I threw some bullshit away in the car, that's a problem. And that's how most of you think. You can do nasty stuff like um, someone, I actually took the time to reply with a very well, well versed a uh, diss. I insulted the fucker and it came back. It's like, whoa, 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 whoa. I was like, bitch, you came to my channel and you insulted me and you talking about, I need to tone it down. Fuck you. Cause see, this is something else too. Most of you are weak and I mean physically weak, mentally weak and spiritually weak because you're working a job that you don't like. I don't work a job. I don't like. You know, I got laid off one time in my life. I got laid off and I said that would never happen to me again. And it hasn't because I would get jobs and I would get everything I could out the job and then move to another job. Then I would get everything out that job and move to another job and I started my own business. And for the last 23 years, I have been a free man. I've not had to kiss corporate ass. I have not had to work with people I didn't like, like you do. You got to work with motherfuckers you don't like because you're not smart enough to start your own business. You're a big fucking dummy, but you want to come to the internet and insult someone who is clearly financially superior to you, intellectually superior to you and spiritually superior to you. And I will get to that in a minute because you're dumb. You're just stupid. And this is the thing. You don't know how dumb you are. You don't know how dumb you are. You out here 
you don't have a retirement plan you don't have money saved you you're just doing out here living your life and like you're just stupid but you feel once again the emotional state you feel that you're smart you feel that you're correct even though you have no substantial evidence to prop up that claim but you're stupid and this is why once again i am fis fiscally financially superior than you i've not paid i've not financed a car i financed one car for this rental car business and before that i've not financed a car in the last 23 years i pay my bills before they do i have money in the bank i don't live that low substandard living a life that you do i don't live that shit. i can eat steak every day if i wanted to and from a spiritual standpoint i am superior than you and i'm not talking about god and being a christian i'm talking about the spirit of humanity and when i say spiritually superior to you when i am next to a submissive woman i can feel her submissiveness i have not dated an asshole or an aggressive or a crazy or one of these competitive women in 20 years i can feel her submissive side i can feel her agreeableness i can feel her cooperation and like i ain't on here on the lost kings talking about how i can't get pussy i can't deal with these hard <laughs> From the spiritual esoteric element you're a bitch and this is why you have problems with women this is why you cannot get a woman this is why you cannot maintain a relationship this is why you cannot enjoy women because you're a bitch and you didn't have any male role models your mama brought you up your mama did everything to you and when you meet a woman you don't know how to protect nor provide you want to enter in a situation where you need that woman's paycheck that's bitch mode times 100. let me go ahead and give you how it should be you should build yourself as a man first before you enter in a relationship you should be able to live independently you should have your own car you should have good credit you should be in a position where you have a minimum of ten thousand dollars in the bank before you start dating and you should be working on a situation where you can meet a woman and bring her into your ecosystem you don't need her check for rent ideally what you would do is you would pay all the bills i know red pill migto men are like losing their minds because god forbid that you be a protector and a provider when you're a beta male bitch and what you would do and I'm about to give you a situation because I've touched on this in my videos you should meet a woman and you should bring her into your e ecosystem and then you should it's like okay my check I'm paying all the bills what we're gonna do with your check we're gonna save your check and we're gonna use your check for investments see how that works because you can both benefit from your each other's money but because you are a low intellect beta male bitch this goes over your head you you can't even think about having an ecosystem built for a woman to enter no 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 you just out here trying to get some pussy trying to get some pussy for free let's talk about that i built a system that got me pussy for about 15 years no dating no long-term relationships every day i would go to my email box and look at who answered my ads and pick who i was going to fuck that night you're not that smart that you can build something like that you want to know why because you ain't built shit in life you've not put together nothing you just out here sucking up oxygen living life and not being a contributing product of society. 
you are a consumer of society. This is why you consume TikTok. This is why you consume YouTube. God forbid you sit down and write a book. Oh no, you can't do that. You, 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 you can't do that. You can't concentrate that long to write a book. Your attention span is garbage. You can't do nothing of substance. All you can do is be a demo person. And there's a great quote. Those who criticize you will always be doing the best thing. And that's you. I've written books, multiple books. I've created training platforms. I've had a successful YouTube channel longer than you had your job. But you want to come here and feel morally superior because of something that I have done that you could never do. See, it ain't optional. Let, let's just go ahead and talk about that. It ain't optional. You cannot fuck young women. It ain't optional. You don't have the skills. You don't have the pedigree. You don't, you can't do it. So it ain't optional. You're jealous. Like last night, I fucked a 35 year old. I'm 55 years old. Fucked her so good. She came so hard. She damn near passed out. You can't do that. And let's talk about you and your sex life. A lot of the women that you're dealing with, they don't come. And that's why she gonna cheat on you because she's looking for that big O. Because your weak ass can't bring it. You don't know how to turn a woman on. You don't know how to make her come. You're just a beta male cuck that wants the best looking woman to hang out with you just because. And the world doesn't work that way, dumbass. There's a reason that the small population of elite control the masses. You want to know why? Because the masses don't know how to manage themselves. This is why people who win the lottery go broke because they don't know how to manage money. I mean, you got someone who's making $30,000 a year. They win the lottery, get $2 million. And typically after taxes, they'll get like 1.2, 1.4 in five years. They broke because they don't know how to manage money. Just like they, you don't know how to manage pussy. You don't know how to manage women. You don't. And all the women out here who, once again, I put the video on the Lost Kings, and that really calmed a lot of you down because I noticed that a lot of comments stopped when I called your big asses out. For you to go to each one of my YouTube channels and leave several comments, you're not a hater, you're a fan. You want me to pay attention to your silly ass. Strange, but true. A lesser man wouldn't know that. A woman doesn't activate and put energy into anything that she's not interested in. But a lot of you beta male simps don't know this because you don't have any experience with women. You really don't. All of the men with experience with women that know how women get down didn't have a problem with my video. All of you jealous ass beta male cucks. And man, let me tell you something. The thing that happened with the mother and her two daughters, that happened more than once. A lot of you are dreaming to be able to fuck a hot mother and her two sexy daughters. You're dreaming of that shit, but you can't do it because you're a weak little bitch. You don't have the masculine energy to draw that type of activity to your weak ass life. And don't spare me with this morality thing. Patrice O'Neill had this skit where he was talking about a woman would be fucking the best man and the guy would hit a woman in the alley with some crack on her lips. That's what most of you would do. I've never participated in a train. That's distasteful for me. I didn't, it's just not my thing. But a lot of you motherfuckers would because you can't get no pussy. A lot of you would be sloppy third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh because you can't get your dick wet because you don't have the ability to entertain, meet, and connect with a woman because you're a weak beta male cuck. You're weak. Weak America. So enjoy the reset. Enjoy a reduced standard of living because it don't have to be that way. But because you are fucking dumbass consuming a low information diet, it's going to be that way. 
because you can't prevent it because you've got all of these bad habits like going to the internet to insult someone who hasn't done shit to you and you think that's cool because in your fucked up mind you have rationalized that to insult someone that's done nothing to you you don't even know you think that's cool and you're going to be the first people who are going to be reset so enjoy the reset, enjoy the decline, enjoy a substandard of living. Enjoy it. And also, this is what the inheritance that you're going to give to your children. It ain't going to be just you. No, 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 no. Your, your children are going to inherit this bullshit because you are a weak ass man. You're a weak ass woman and you don't give a shit about your kids. Because if you did give a shit about your kids, they would know how to read before they went to school. They would be well-mannered. They would be protected. You wouldn't be living in a cheap-ass neighborhood because it has cheap rent. You'd be living in the most expensive neighborhood you can muster so your kids can network and develop friendships with wealthier kids. But because you are a weak-ass bitch, you don't think like that. You just think, how can I make my life easier versus being a stand-up man or woman and providing for your kids, providing the best of the best for your children. Most of you are failures as parents, pretty much. So that's all I got to say. Enjoy the reset, enjoy the decline, enjoy being a dumbass, enjoy it. Because that's what's gonna happen to you. I'm Glendon Cameron, and I approve this message. <laughs>